Hi guys, it's Sonia. I am back again. I forgot to share with you guys, um, Kim, Kimbo Creation. Thank you so much, Kim. Oh my God, that was so stinking adorable. She sent a me a B lady birthday card, and she also sent my husband a get well soon card. And that was so, so thoughtful of you, Kim. He was like so... I was reading what the little note she put in the front. Um, and oh my God, Kim, thank you for those magazines. She sent me um, Stampin' Up! catalogs. And whew, I got to take a deep breath on that one. But anyway, I did place my order, Kim. So can't wait to get my goodies. Anyway, this was a card that she sent my hubby. And Kim, by the way, his name is Carmelo. <laughs> and that was so stinking adorable of you. He was like, he, he, he was like, he was like, she sent me a card? She did? I was like, yep, she sent you a card. And so he was really, really taken back by it. So thank you so much. This card is stinking adorable. And I remember her showing this card, and I thought it was stinking cute. I love these little envelopes that she makes here with these Stampin' Up! stuff. Okay, and here's the one that she sent me. And I remember seeing this one also. And she did this with doilies. And look how pretty this is. Thank you so much, Kim. This is really, really cute. And then she also sent me some other cutouts uh, from one of the dies that... Actually, she sent me some bows. And the other cutout, I have it there because I was sharing with one of my girls... One of my girlfriends that came over to visit. Um, and I was showing her the stuff and the cards. And she thought they were... I still... They're adorable, Kim. Thank you again so much. And then she sent me these bows. Look how cute. I love the color. And I believe this is also from Stampin' Up. And guys, I don't know. Um, it's the first time I placed an order with Stampin' Up. And they have so many stuff there. And then... So many incentives, especially now, I think now until, I don't know when, but I think for every $50 you spent, you get a free item. So worth it. So I had fun. Anyway, so I can't wait to get those, especially the butterflies, which I will share with you guys as soon as I get them out of the other bag. Now, my girlfriend, again, I've mentioned many times, she's a seamstress. And um, I always tell her to save the little pieces of remnants she has because I can use them for flowers. I also use them to put on the mask. I think I've shared my mask before. Um, I, I picked them up. <laughs> I don't even know where I put them. Okay, but anyway. Let me share. She bought me a bag full, again, of goodies. Now, this is the same one that bought me the flatbacks. So, yeah. And look at these little pieces of fabric I get. How stinking cute. Now, I am planning to stiffen these and run them through that new one that I just got. Look how nice. This is good to make a banner with this one. Anyway, so I always tell her, save the pieces for me because you can do so much with these. You can make flowers. Um, so she brought them over. She's so funny. She's really cute. And this color... Look at the blue. Now there, you're probably going to think, what do you want with this, guys? But I can make so much with this. Unbelievable. Now, this is so pretty. These like these, I like to take these and put them on mask. So I can decorate them with the fabric. I usually cut the shape of the mask and glue this on. And that piece is good enough for me to make one. So is this one. And actually with this one, I can't wait to get my dies that I ordered from Stampin' Up. Those are the butterflies. You know what? Let me find that little envelope. It's in here somewhere. Because I was sharing it with her and I said, let me not leave it here because my doggie... Here it goes. I found it. My doggie is a daredevil. She will take it in a minute and grab my stuff and tear it up. And then I'll be like, oh... She sent this adorable tag. Look at that. How cute. And then here. This is the die that I ordered from Stamping Up. Look at how beautiful this is, guys. Love, love, love. And then I want to try and do fabric ones out of the gingham type of fabric. See how that comes out. So there's these. And she was so sweet to cut some out and send them over. And I so The moment she showed this, I said, I want that die. 
Look how look at that. Look at this. Look at that and gold. She did gold. She did the pink. And my girlfriend also said, oh, when you get that dye, can you cut some for me? But she wants them in fabric. So I said, why not? Anyway, I just told her to stiffen them and send them over so I can cut them for her. Anyway, I wonder if there's, if anybody knows, is there any other way to cut um, with the dyes fabric? Do I have to, like, always stiffen them? I don't know. Just let me know. I mean, I always do. But if I don't have to, then I won't. See little pieces? You could use these for so many stuff. Look at this. How be look, look. This is, I think it's about a, um, it's about 49 inches long. This little piece here. How pretty is that? So again, I don't mind the little small pieces because I could do so much with it. Look at this one here. How pretty is that? So there's those. You can use these on a mask also. And then look at this one here. How pretty is that one? So a bunch of little pieces. And there's this here. This is really nice also. So again, these are pieces that you can use. And they're so nice and, you know, neat. They're clean. Oh, look at this. I didn't see this in there. This almost looks like an owl. Can you guys see that? Mmm, this is going in a separate thingy. Let me just put that there. So again, like her husband was saying, what do I want these little pieces for? I said, I can use those. I can make this little guy there into an owl. You see that? So I said, don't throw anything out. Just save them. You know, let me be the judge of that. <laughs> Look at these. So really cute. You can use some of these on a card. Little pieces like this. These, again, I love to use these on a mask. And here goes another one of those thingies. And it looks like an owl. See these? You can use these. This is a very pretty fabric. Um, make flowers with these also. I cut them into, like this one here, I would cut them into little strips and then fold them and then sew like that. See that? There goes my bow. So, really cute. This black one is a nice piece, too, for a mask. Like that one. I was showing, you know, it's, I put these, again, these pieces are nice to use them on mask also. So, again, flowers, any little thing you can make with these things. Um, like I always tell her, she always tells me the same thing. You sure you want them? I go, yeah. When there's a will, there's a way. But... And then she bought me some burlap. And I love this one because it's got like that shimmery gold to it. Look at that. So I got quite a few pieces on that one. And then look at I love this one. Look at that. Kind of diamond shape cut. You see that? So I got those pieces there. Some more. These are actually, all of these have like that gold accent in it. So I really like that one. Then look at these pieces. And she takes the little pins, has them so nicely and neatly folded. Really nice. See that? Really nice clean cut pieces. Most of them anyway. So these are so worth it. You can, again, use them on cards, use them on flowers. This one itself, you can make yourself a little nice flower. Make a couple of these. See that? You just sew around here the trim and then just actually you can just get one flower out of this one this is this I usually keep a needle here with thread but I don't think this is gonna be enough unless I do it but just to show you guys give you a general idea I like to take the tip here just one and fold it in and then take it from there I'm sorry I'm so quiet, but I'm just like, this needle, it's really not for this because it's too thick. But just to give you an idea of what these pieces are worth, you can get any type of little quick flower done with this one here. So that's all you do. You see that? See how your flower's forming? 
So it's really cute, I like that one. Okay, so, and then there's this piece here. Oh, yes, look at this. See, they use the little pins on them. I should return those, right? But look how cute. This is about, um, this piece itself, it's 43 inches. So you got a little over a yard here. Very nice pieces. Thank you so much, Loya. She's so sweet. So as you can see, these are the pieces you have. You can put these on jars, wrap them around, and little streak them out, whatever, and a little label for your mason jars, whatnot. So there's a lot of lot of stuff you can do with these. And then she bought me some other stuff. Like when she goes to the dollar store, she finds stuff like that. She picks them up for me. So she got me that one. Look at how pretty this one is. What does that say? Take a break. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's got like a little cup of coffee there. How cute is that? There's this one. And then there's this one. Look at the lamp and the key. <laughs> so cute. And then look at these guys. These are like the stretchy ones. The stretchy bands, that's what I call them. i got to wrap these up. But anyway, before I go, look at this. That's pretty. Look at it in pink. And I think she ordered from Lace Heaven. And these are some of the remnants they might have sent her as well. And so she just brought them over. Look how cute. This is a little wrinkle. No problem. You can just iron that out. Wash it, whatever. Here's another one that's good for a flower. Just go right around the edges. And I will make a flower out of this one and I'll share with you guys because I like the edges on that one. Here's this one like that. And look at this one, how pretty. So I got one. I got two of those. Three. And then, oh, here's some applicates too. Look at how pretty. This is really pretty. I like this one. And there's this one like that. This needs to be washed. And again, those are remnants that they sent her. This one's pretty. And this one here, I can actually cut the bow out of this one. You see it there? Can you guys see that? And then the flowers. So I'll have two pieces. Here's another one I can use to make flower, another flower with. So I have those two pieces for a flower. And then look at this here. Nice. And all I have to do is probably wash them and then steam it out. Here's some of this one here, like that. The blue one. Some more applicates. Look at this one, how cute. This one's really nice. I like this one. And look at how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is nice for a flower also. I got that one. Here's another applicate. And then there's this really nice big piece here. See that? This is nice for a book cover. And some more of this one here, the elastic bands. Another piece of applicate. Okay, this has to be washed. Okay, it like it's staying with, um, look like poop for a moment, but that's not what it is. I'd be like, ah! Anyway, <laughs> sorry guys, okie dokie guys, wait, I want these pieces so I can do a flower with them. Alrighty, so guys, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye for now, till then, until I get my Stampin' Up stuff. Mm. Bye guys.